Hello, I'm Mr. Allen, and I'm going to show you how to log into Purple Mash in this very short video introduction. So, first, I'm going to share my screen. And now I'm going to go to an internet browser. I'm going to use Microsoft Edge. You can use Google Chrome if you want to or the Apple Safari. And for those of you who are using older equipment, Internet Explorer also works too. Rather than searching for Purple Mash uh, using a search engine like Google, I'm actually going to go straight into this part of the uh, internet browser I'm using, clear the information from there, and I'm going to type in the words Purple Mash. Purple Mash as an internet address is actually one word P U R P L E M A S H full stop dot com. Now, when you first log into Purple Mash from a new device, whether it's a computer, a laptop, a tablet, or a smartphone, the website will look something like this. I'm just going to acknowledge that we don't mind receiving cookies from this website. Uh, so I'm going to come down to the bottom of this screen and accept. Now, at Willowbrook, we've created our own login page, which you can connect to by uh, following the link from this second lower purple rectangle in the middle of the screen. Let me click on that. It now gives you a list of schools that are subscribed to Purple Mash. You can either type in our school postcode, which is E107BH, and you can see straight away our school is listed there. If you can't remember our postcode, just type in the words Willow and Brook. Now, there are two Willowbrook primary schools in uh, England. Subscribe to Purple Mash. We are the one at the bottom. I'm going to click on the one at the bottom. And when you do that, you will see our school badge, our school address, and another purple rectangle that says go to school portal. I'll click on that. And it will take us to our Willowbrook Purple Mash website. Here, it is asking us for our username and our password. Our username is made up of the first four letters of your family name and the first initial of your first name. So I've got a student here called Brooke. So B-R-O-O, -O, first four letters. And her first name is Willow. So W for Willow. Now her username number is 100. It's a three digit number. All of your usernames have three digits after the first five alphabetical characters, followed by a full stop, followed by our school number, which is 320. This student's password happens to be purple100, and your passwords will have a word followed by a number. And then press the login button or click onto the login button. I would recommend that you never save passwords, although if you're using a computer, tablet, smartphone, or a laptop that is only being used by one person, you can. You get a welcome screen here. I'm just gonna click on the cross to show you the other applications available within the Purple Mash series. Now as teachers, we're gonna be setting homework uh, for your children, for you. And to find your homework, you click on the to do's 
on the left hand side, top left hand side of the screen. As parents, you'll be able to sign up for uh, parent access to Purple Mash, where you will get a weekly email for logging into uh, Purple Mash to see what the teachers are doing, sending homeworks and giving feedback to their children. So I hope you enjoy using Purple Mash.